The Nissan GTR has forged its reputation over half a century on road and track. It's a giant killing machine of epic proportion. But did you know the GTR's six cylinder beating heart is hand built by only a handful of engine virtuosos? Indeed, the high performance V6 is lavished with the sort of attention rarely seen in the car world. And it all happens on the outskirts of Tokyo. This is a factory within a factory. We're in Nissan's Yokohama engine plant, but this facility is where they make the GTR engines. There are only five Takumi with the skill set and know how permitted to build the GTR engine to exacting standards. Hiroyuki Ichikawa is one of them. So, this is the first time I've been able to do this. 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 This place is different to most engine plants. Ichikawa and his colleagues aren't bound by time constraints or quotas. They build the engines with a level of care and precision that is rare in the automotive industry. The inner sanctum is where the Takumi ply their trade. But before we're granted access, we must put on the appropriate gear. We've just walked into the engine room here in Yokohama and it's very cool, literally and figuratively. It's 23 degrees in here all year round. And that's because they do not want the aluminium to expand and contract. We're talking minute amounts here, up to 15 microns, but they want to have so much consistency in these engines that they don't take any chances. It's just phenomenal. Pumping out extreme levels of power, the engines have to withstand tremendous internal pressures, repeatedly. That's why these special tools are in use. This Takumi craftsman, this technician behind me, works with electronic tools so that every bit of torque, every nut twisted, is perfectly recorded. And it's sent over to a central server so they have electronic records and it's written down. They check, they double check because they want everything in these engines to be perfect. This fascinating microcosm of engineering is one of the most pristine and pleasant workshops we've ever encountered. No wonder it's nicknamed the clean room. The reason they don't use air compressed tools in here is because they don't want contaminants. They don't want bits of dust, oil, things like that getting into the engines. They take all of this very seriously and it's why we're wearing this interesting get up as well. They do not want anything getting in here. It's quite a privilege even to get inside this workshop. Having worked at Nissan for 35 years, Ichikawa-san is an unsung hero in this place. A bit of a superstar in engine building circles and he's one of the most modest blokes you'll ever meet. パチャがってから Although he builds modern-day R35 GTR engines, Ichikawa loves classic metal. And now, more than 50 years after the original GTR changed the state of play, the importance of what transpires in this unbelievable workshop is not lost on the Takumi. Ichikawa is proud of his role as a Takumi for Nissan, but he has no desire to down tools just yet. Does that mean he'll be responsible for building the engine in the next generation R36 Nissan GTR? 
we were hoping he would spill the beans on the next generation GTR, rumoured to be a hybrid machine. But whatever Nissan comes up with next, you can bet your bottom dollar it'll take the same exacting and rigorous approach witnessed here today.